Hello listeners, Chelsea K. Podcaster welcoming you to today's podcast. Today's topic is about motivation. We need motivation every day. It's the driving force that gets us going. You you see successful people motivate people and they need to know how to motivate themselves before they can motivate others. You need to know why you want to motivate others. If you lack motivation, you feel down and often don't have a desire to do anything, and you need to decide that you want to do something about your life. Do you want to improve yourself or your life? I'm sure you aren't satisfied with what you have right now. And if you lack motivation, then you need to find the motivation to drive yourself to change your life. You need to be happy with who you are and happy with your life. People who are motivated are determined to do whatever it takes to get what they want, and they work hard at it. You need motivation to practice to get better at what you love. You need it to be creative. You need it to get up every day. You need it when you plan your future, and you need it when you want to do something. In everything, you need motivation. Motivation is the ability to achieve your goals and your dreams and vision. Without it, you are not able to do all the things that you want to do in life. It's powerful to drive you and others to achieve success. Motivation keeps us focused on our goals, and it brings people together to work as a team. It's a strength that we need every day. Learn to find what motivates you and to go for it. You need to push yourself. Be determined to persevere. Train yourself to have motivation. It makes you stronger, and it's defined as the reason or reasons as what has for acting or behaving in a particular way. You need that right kind of motivation for positive change. There are various reasons that you will be motivated to do something. There are three types that are classified, classified according to experts in one type of category that they have classified it. But there is also other types of motivation according to other experts. There is ext- extrinsic, which is doing an action, an activity to attain or avoid a separate outcome. Most of the time, this is the motivation people do in order to get the things that they need to do done. There is also intrinsic, which is the internal drive for success or sense of purpose. And this motivation is a lot stronger and works well for individuals. The third type is family, that you are motivated by the purpose to provide for your loved ones as well as yourself. The most healthy motivation is, has the most benefits. Now you can have intrinsic motivation if you are an individual, but you can also use it as your advantage when you are married or have a family to be able to be established. Employees also need motivation to succeed for organizations to succeed. Business owners need it to get their business to succeed. Entrepreneurs need it to build their business, succeed, and to provide their ideas that others need. You need a lot of motivation when you have to begin something new and to keep it going. You need to prove what you have to offer is necessary. It's the solution to your client's problems, and it changes behavior, develops competencies, helps us to be creative, sets goals, grows interest, makes plans, develops talent, and boosts engagement. And there is also identified motivation and introjected motivation, according uh, to what experts have said. Introjected is also internal, and when the task is not done, the person feels guilt, whereas intrinsic is also internal, but it's also, but the difference is that it is acted on. Extrinsic is external action motivation. Identified motivation is where a person 
knows that something needs to be done, but hasn't decided to do anything about it. It's external, and it also involves non-action. Often people don't act and have become a non-action type of motivator. And they don't act. Eventually, they cannot motivate themselves to do things that they want to do. How do you act? Do you need to believe what you think needs to be done will get done and must be done? That you have the ability to do it and it will only get done when you do it. But is your motivation negative or is it positive? Because negative motivation is because you must do it. Versus positive motivation is you want to do it. Because you know doing it will bring great rewards. The person who has the idea and is able to take responsibility and act on it. Those people are the ones who see success happen to them. And those who act on motivation always have success, always are happy. And they know how to change and they value change and they make things better. You don't need other people to decide what to do, to act. And people can give you advice but only you have the ability to satisfy the desire that's within you. Your faith can motivate you, and faith can lead you to achieve goals and dreams that you were made for. You need to know your purpose and to achieve it. You need to waken up and realize those dreams and visions that are inside of you. You need to motivate yourself whenever other people are not there with you, and when nobody else can. You have been given the ability to succeed, so you need to use it. You need to choose for yourself to be motivated, regardless of situation and circumstances, and to stay motivated all the time. Our mind is powerful. We have the ability to change our thoughts and to take control. We can make our mind believe positive things or negative things. If you want to succeed, you need to take that action. You need to be positive and to be encouraged. You need to strive for success. You need to realize what you think and to change it as necessary as possible. Motivation needs to be strong enough to keep you focused until you achieve your goals. Then you will see the manifestation of what you're expecting to receive. Because if your, man, if your expectation is negative, the negative will happen to you. And you need to be passionate when you are motivated. Take the time to sit and think it over. You need to be to listen to affirmations and to motivate yourself with quotes, motivational quotes that will inspire you. Passion is what drives people to do things and to do great things. So choose to be passionate in what you do and find the things that you really desire to do. Learn techniques to improve and yourself and meditate and start imagining yourself doing them. Make the steps clear and easy to do each day, even if you start with small ones and grow bigger that you must have short-term and long-term goals and keep positive no matter what. You need to learn to persevere even when you fail. And you only succeed when you keep pushing to find better ways to do it. Learn from those who are already, already motivated and make it your daily habit. Remember, 21 days is what you need in order for a habit to be formed. Then it will become natural. Practice it and it will become easier. Obtain it and you will want to go higher. Thank you for listening and have a successful day or an evening. And whenever you are listening, always remember and tell yourself you can do it. Stay tuned for the next podcast. And I hope that you can support this channel or share it with others. If you are interested in sharing, just go to the share and share this channel.
uh, this um, podcast or you can share the whole channel to others. But if you're interested in supporting, please use the following email address in order to do an e-transfer at kayunkk at gmail.com or PayPal at chelsea.kong at gmail.com. Kong. You can check the podcast channel to see the details. And thank you very much. And have yourself a wonderful time in the days and weeks ahead. Stay positive always.